Biodiversity Coalition Vice Chair Brunel Donald Che joins me now to discuss this. And the president has said that he's committed to a smooth transition, but holding off in some kind of way of saying, look, we understand the concerns, but these protests, I mean, there's really reprehensible rhetoric sometimes at these protests, not my president. Shouldn't the president come out and say enough of that? You know, I, God bless you and God bless America first. Um, what I would say is, you know, we only get one president at, at a time. That is why Donald J. Trump is the president-elect. President Obama is currently the president on our tax dollars, and he has a duty to let uh, protesters know that, sure, you can protest, but he should be speaking out directly to those who are uh, destroying property, who are causing physical harm to their fellow Americans, who are out there, uh, I saw something like rape, Milan all types of stuff, all kinds of things that are violent and disgusting and un-American. Those are the things, yes, I believe he should speak out and speak against. Yes. So, so if we take out the, the, I'll say, fringe element of some of these protesters, there are several millions of Americans who were opposed to President-elect Trump. What do you think needs to happen in order for the protesters who are now on the street, who are not part of that crazy element that, that attack police and destroy property, but those protesters to perhaps feel more trusting of the president-elect to lead our country. I think that what they should do is uh, they should allow the president-elect, Donald J. Trump, and Mike Pence, uh, the vice president-elect, to do their jobs. Let them pick the leaders. Let them show you uh, through their picks, through the, the people that they're choosing in order to lead the nation. Let them show you. Um, they, they are not in office yet. So the only thing they can do is uh, let the people know by uh, the uh, people that they're choosing to go into office with them in January. But also, like I said, it is the president's job to uh, facilitate that uh, smooth transition uh, into power for our president-elect. And I think that it's a big... Um a big slap in the face, in my opinion, not just to the American people, but to the president-elect if he does sure. not uh, let's address it. Let's talk about another issue that some people consider a slap sure. in the face. Facebook and Google, as well as Twitter, recently pledged to block what is called fake news from using mm -hmm. their online advertising platforms after the accusations that the fake news that was on Facebook, Twitter, and um, Google swayed the presidential election with false facts. So even President Obama, even he took a shot at the bogus articles a little bit earlier today. Take a listen. In the age of social media where so many people are getting uh, their information in sound bites and snippets off their phones, uh, if we can't discriminate between serious arguments and propaganda, then we have problems. Is it the responsibility, do you think, of the social media networks to police this, or is it the responsibility of educated people to police the content of what they read? I think, first of all, First Amendment. I am so glad that uh, President-elect Donald J. Trump and Vice President-elect um, Mike Pence are going into office. We have got to snatch our freedom of our freedom of speech back. It is up to Americans to decide what they want to read, what they want to hear, what they want to see. Uh, it is not up to the social media to decide that. And so I think that it's so important. We've lost what it is to be Americans, to be free, to have thoughts and beliefs that are different from one another. And I'm so happy that we have candidates, people who are now going to go into office and give that back to us, our ability uh, to not be politically correct, to not always say the right thing. No one's perfect. It is up to us, the voters, the nation, to uh, sift through and decide what we want to watch and what we want to believe. It's up to us. Brunel, it's always a pleasure to have you here. And before I let you go, I want my God bless you. God bless you and God bless America. All the best to you. Thank you for joining us. I received that. Thank you so much. Make America great again. Make America great again. Make America great again.